Good eye, mate. Today we'll be building an ethanol analyzer to measure the ethanol content in your fuel. There are two versions Aether Light, which is Bluetooth only, and Aether Standard, which allows you to attach no lid display. If you decide to go out and build your own, all the parts are listed in the description down below. Before we get started, I need to make a public service announcement on which mainframes will work. 5 volt AV or baseboard should work. Two boards known to work are Emake Fin and Kiwish. The popular Arduino Nano 33 will not work. It has an ARM processor. At the time of this writing, none of the code has been ported over. There's also an issue with the board only being 3.3 volts. You see, that causes wonky things to happen when the OLED display, as well as every other sensor on your car, probably uses 5 volts. In addition, the analog outputs definitely will not work. Let's go ahead and assemble the Bluetooth only one, the Aether Light. Now, you take your resistor, which can be anywhere between 4.7 kilo ohms and 10 kilo ohms. Make a loop de loop in it, mate. Take your mainframe supercomputer rope core memory circuit board and attach the resistor between the D10 pin and the 5 volt pin. Now you take your binary of wires and uh, strip them like so. Take the single red wire and attach it to the red wire, and the single black wire and attach it to the black wire. This will serve two purposes. It will provide power to the ethanol sensor as well as the mainframe. Oh yeah, that looks so yummy mate, yeah good job! What you're going to want to do is take that green sensor wire and attach it to the D10 pin. Take that black wire and attach it to the G and D pin. It is the ground wire. That our red wire goes to the VN pin. Alright mate, this next step is very important. So listen here. Take the medium heat shrink and fish the bundle of wires through. And now it's time for the sensor pigtail connector. Chase the other end of the wires and crimp the terminals. If you don't have fancy crimpers, you may use some pliers with extreme caution. Pay close attention to the orientation of the wires. If they get crossed up, magic smoke could be released from the mainframe. This is a critical point in your life where we're going to have to make an executive decision. Whether you'd like for this to remain Bluetooth only, or if you'd like to upgrade to Ether Standard, which contains no LED display port. For the upgrade, jump straight to 5 minutes and 20 seconds. Take the large heat shrink and sense it on the mainframe. Then use your sister's hair dryer and heat the end. You may trim the leftovers. Then heat the other side. Once it cools, 
slide the medium heat shrink over it for a better seal. And there you have it. Hopefully your Bluetooth ethanol analyzer looks something like the same. Let's go ahead and add a display port, which consists of four wires. Black wire goes to ground, red wire goes to the 5 volt pin, the blue wire goes to the A4 pin, the green wire goes to the A5 pin. Alright mate, this next step is very important, so listen here. Take the medium heat shrink and fish the bundle of wires through. Chase the other end of the wires and crimp the terminals. Pay close attention to the orientation of the wires. If they get crossed up, magic smoke could be released from the mainframe. Take the large heat shrink and center it on the mainframe. Then use your sister's hair dryer and heat the end. You may trim the leftovers. Then heat the other side. Once it cools, slide the medium heat shrink over it for a better seal. And there you have it. Hopefully your Bluetooth ethanol analyzer looks something like the same. It's time for the home stretch, building the OLED display kit. Crimp the terminals to the wires. Plug the wires into the connector exactly like shame. The colors should line up straight through to the other connector. Nay. No. Take the other end of the wire and attach the terminals. Plug them into the connector in this order, with the two skids facing up. With the skids facing up, plug into the OLED display. Feel free to give the final test using a 9 volt battery. If it doesn't work, you went and mangled something up. Consider starting all over again. Now let's talk about the marker code. On boot up you might see some cryptic message at the top left corner. This references the features that are enabled or disabled. The first three are for the voltage output feature. For example, if you wanted to send your analog output to the car's computer for flex fuel calculations, or to a data logger. The fourth is for a bar graph triangle slider at the bottom if you decide to tap into a map or other 0 to 5 volt dinghy to it. The key word being 5 volt stops. If you go straight to hooking up to your car battery, I promise you with 100% certainty, you will let the magic smoke out. I've made the code publicly available for anyone to modify. Any Arduinos purchased via TurboCoo chains are all pre-programmed. So there's no reason for you to go quit your coal mining job and become a coder. There's a free Android app available. Just search for Ethanol Analyzer, all one word. It's the one with the janky icon made by Turbo Key Chains. Also, the source code for this is available for anyone to modify as well. Now, it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. The laboratory test. For the first part, we will be using the high test. Good old delicious Everclear. 
It's practically straight alcohol, so we expect to see 100% or close to that. The second part of the test will be using taste of beer. Oh, yeah, it went sideways, mate. Do not run your car on beer. Notice the sensor output is displaying 5600, which some flex fuel sensors will do if you happen to have contaminated fuel. So, that pretty much sums it up for this project. Have a good aim, mate.